Hello everyone. This video is a continuation of our student POS system series and in this video we will set up our error handler. Okay? So let's start. So Express provide us a global error handler and it is a middleware. Okay, so let me first explain you the flow of error handler. So this is client and when a client send a request to the server, then it will first goes to the router. Okay and then router send the request to middlewares so if the middleware present if not then it will directly send to the request handler but if middleware present like token verification then after the job of middleware is done then it will send the request to the request handler okay let me show you what is request handler here so if you see this endpoint so this is the route and this is the request handler okay now if in if in the request handler if everything is fine no any error occurs then it will send the response directly to the client okay but if error occurs in the request handler then in that case we can send it to the global error handler by writing next error okay and then global error handler process the error and based on the status code and message it will send that response to the client okay so this is the basic flow of the error handler and this is how it works now let's implement it in our code okay actually i did some changes in my code you you also have to do it in yours so first of all go to the config folder and create a config.js file and click on this file and then write this code okay okay so let me explain you the what about the code so this is a config object and i defined i will define all the configuration in this config object and here we imported the dot env package and here export the config and this object dot freeze is used to make this object read only from different files we cannot change the config configuration okay so that's why i've written here object.freeze okay now let's go to the database.js and here import the config file and change process.env.mongodb to this okay config.database url and at one more place that is here port just change the process.env.port to config.port and import here also okay this is the change i did you also have to do it now let's implement the error handler okay so first of all create a folder here and name it middleware okay and inside that create global global error handler okay now let's create a method here const global error handler okay now in, inside this function we have to pass error request response and next okay now first export it okay now let's define the function so first of all we have to get the status code that is error dot status code if not provided then just throw 500 internal server error now let's return from here response dot status is equal to status code then json and here just write message error dot message and error stack Okay, here just write error dot stack. Okay, but I want that in the I want error stack to display only in the development server. I don't want to display this stack tree in our production. So to do that, you have to write here like this config dot no dnv equal equal to, if it is equal to development then just display the error dot stack 
otherwise just doesn't don't show anything okay now here i have to also display the status status code okay so this is our global error handler let's save it now go to the app.js and you have to call the global error handler at the bottom of your endpoints okay then only it will work otherwise it will not work so here just write a comment global error handler and here app.use global error handler okay so this is imported you can see that now let's test it first of all let's check our server is running correctly yes it is running correctly now let's test it so to test this first of all create an error here so this method is coming from HTTP errors package so you have to install this package so just write npm install HTTP errors and install this package and here we have to pass first of all the status code suppose let's say 404 and something went wrong okay and after that just throw this error okay now let's check it so go to your browser and this is the root endpoint just write it here local localhost 8000 yes you can see that the error is coming and it is this is the error stack this is the mess so this is about global error handler so now this let's remove so this move this we will use in in our controllers for now it is done we have set up our error handler okay so that's all for this video in the next video we will create our authentication api okay so thank you for watching stay tuned and please do like subscribe and share with your friends